all right guys welcome back to the channel today i got the enjora xcx 10 2 clone chassis crawler here uh, this will be the first run since i've got everything uh put together here so let me show you what's going on so i do have a 3s pack in here a, a small 2200 milliamp 3s lipo pack in here all right and we do have the portal axles installed on here front and rear so as i do with all my crawlers i check the speed on them see what the speed would be now i wish i would have recorded this with the stock uh axles on here to compare the speeds but i know for i know pretty much that this is slower now than when the when i had to stop axles on here uh but today what we're gonna do we're gonna check the speed we're gonna check the speed on it with this 35 turn brush motor here with the porta axles and then i'll my plan is to put the eight turn torque tune brush motor in here and we're gonna see if we can gain some of that wheel speed back from installing these portal axles so let me go ahead and get everything buttoned up get the uh gps here set up i already got it uh velcroed in here so all we gotta do is get it set up to record the speed so let's go to Modes. Peak mode. Enter. Time to record. So it's, it's at zero. As y'all see that. So let me button it up with the Ram body. So the SCX. So the Enjoy SCX 102 got the Dodge Ram body here. So uh, let us button this up and then uh, we'll check the speed on this. All right, guys, so we got it all buttoned up. Let's put it down here and uh, see what kind of speeds we get out of it. That's maxed out. <laughs> now, before I put the uh, porta axles on there, this thing we actually getting up. But this is all it has right here. All right, so let's see, let's see what kind of speeds we get out of it. I don't have to take the body off to get to it. I can, uh... Five miles per hour. This is what we got out of it, five miles per hour with the portal axis. So let's kind of make a memo of that. And when I put the eight turn motor in there, the next time I come out, we do this again and we'll see what difference that eight turn motor makes with the wheel speed. So five miles per hour with port axles.
All right, guys, I finished testing the Enjora SCX-102 crawler in its state as it is right now. And there are some things on here I need to change out um, because there's some things that I liked about it and some things I disliked about it. And mostly the, mostly the things that I disliked were some things are some things that I can actually change that uh, that really doesn't come on this uh, crawler because the wheels on this crawler are, was wheels that I had the wheels on this crawler are the wheels that came off of a HG uh, crawler and they're not the best they're real hard they don't flex at all I mean it's like they're real hard so they don't really grip like they should uh, you know, it don't give it it don't they don't give a little flex uh like some tires do that can actually help you grip and these just uh, these wheels these tires are all tread that's it um as you can see how you know in a in a in the rocks and that loose dirt and stuff like that man it was just it couldn't really grab on and dig in like you think it would with these trees but they would not dig in and uh so they did okay on the hard rocks they didn't move uh they kind of gripped on those but the loose dirt and loose rocks it, it didn't do very good so uh so that's one thing that needs to be changed for it to be competitive to the other crawlers that i have uh another thing is those shocks i was telling you about the shocks are still like i said they're they're i guess okay to get you started but if you really want the best performance out of this crawler you you're gonna have to change out your shocks and so that's the next thing i do plan on doing and uh may even change out the wheel i just don't know what wheels i want to go with yet so but uh, other than that man the electronics they worked fine uh you know with being able to have full proportional uh steering and and throttle so um see the only other thing oh now one thing and i should have took it off one thing that kind of hurt me too was my hitch here i have this drop hitch uh and so when I went up to climb, it would get uh, hung up right here. As you can see, it scraped, got a little scrape mark. If it, if it will focus. So yeah, it was getting scraped up uh, climbing uphill, and so I should have took that off. But either way, though, man, it 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 really didn't affect it too much. But I know next time I do come out. I'll take the hitch off. I had I really forgot all about it. Uh, but yeah, the like I said, the shocks, yeah, they're not they're not any good, man. Like I said, it's, it's just best to go ahead and change them out if you can. If just go ahead and order you some new shocks if you do order this truck. And like I said, these are not the wheels that came with the truck. Uh, like I said, these are wheels that I just had, and like I said, off a of, a hg crawler and like i said man they're they're really no good the reason why i really put them on here is because they're a little bit small in diameter and i felt like it give me more flex more room to flex without it hitting the, uh rubbing up against the body for the most part but it still rubbed up against the body a little bit especially when i just turned but other than that uh that was the only reason but what i do want to show you just want you to see how the steering radius look on this and, and i actually got it uh dialed down a little bit but that's the steering on it and so i and actually when it and when i'm rolling and turning it even turns even more so uh i think it's 
I like the turning radius on this. Like I said, this is the Enjora SCX 10-2 clone crawler. And uh, this is my first time running it. And like I said, it was, a, it was for me, a hit and miss. Uh, the best part about this crawler I like is the body. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I guess. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, one thing I, I do notice, the back end, do it really do need a little bit more weight. And I guess if I, when I put that, uh, if I put a spare tire on here, put a spare wheel, maybe a metal spare wheel, because I think I'm going to go with some metal uh, B-lock wheels on this. And I'm going to get a, a spare and maybe put here, put it, put it there. And, uh. And I may go with some, uh, these already have metal hexes on here. So that's one thing I, I don't have to uh, worry about. And see these uh, porter axles, they're all metal. So the porter axles on this truck, front and rear, are all metal. Um, I just need a little more weight in the back because, like I said, uh, right now, as far as weight-wise, it's really s mostly sitting in the middle uh it's mostly sitting in the middle you got some up front but mostly in the middle and what i say about mostly in the middle you got your motor here you, your transmission box uh and battery is in like i said the battery is a small 3s battery i'm using a 2200 milliamp 3s lipo uh but as far as that i mean it's the front is a little bit heavier than the rear and that's only because like I said I think you got more going on on the front porter axle than you do on the rear porter axle and like I said this does have metal drive shafts so uh, I think adding really adding just a little more weight on the front to keep it down when I'm going up that will work and just a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight, just because, like I said, it's nothing back here. As you see, it's nothing, just empty. So, uh, like I said, this is the only thing other than the portal axle being metal and, and this drop down hitch being metal. Uh, really, it's not really any weight back here. So, um, but don't want to put too much weight back here. I do want to kind of balance it out from the center so anyway we'll figure it out like i said the next time i well i can't say the next time i come out with it but i will be doing some upgrades to this to make it a little bit better than what it is now i did like the uh clearance on this truck with the port axle so i do like that and uh if i did go with some bigger diameter wheels that it actually increased the ground the ground clearance a little bit more so uh but anyway all right guys this is the end of this video i hope you all liked it if you like it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you all on the next video y'all be safe yeah